Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to do show you my August recap of exactly how much money I earned selling options for the entire month of August. Now, I sell crypto options on Ethereum. I do it because I think it's an incredible way to be able to earn some semi-passive income, and I'm going to show you exactly how much I earned in this video. Now, keep in mind, this is a part of a series where I actually trade options live. I show you exactly what I earn. I show you the trades that don't work out. It's completely transparent. It's completely upfront. We're not looking at charts and talking about hypothetical situations and hypothetical trades. I'm not only showing you winners. I'm You're seeing absolutely everything in this series. And if you can appreciate that sort of honesty and that sort of transparency in trading, do me a favor and smash that like button. If you don't want to subscribe to the channel, no problem. Hopefully by the end of the video, I will have earned your subscribe. Now let's take a look at, at what we ended up doing for the month of uh, the month of August. Now, a quick recap. I couldn't actually remember where I ended the month at. This is the video from yesterday. This is technically my first trading day in September, but I had to go back to see where I finished up the month at. I had $20,564 in collateral. I think you're going to be shocked when you see exactly how much I earned for the month of uh, the month of August. Now, we have to keep in mind when it comes to August. By the way, this video I'll try to put up in the cards. In the month of August, keep in mind, we had one day where Ethereum dropped like 20% within an hour or two. Um, but we we were able to survive that. We ended up selling calls on the way up and we ended up recovering and we made some good income. Now, keep in mind, my goal is to be able to earn roughly in a perfect scenario. I want to earn like 1%, 1.25% a week. That's what I'm shooting for. That's not kind of my target. That's 4 to 6% per month. Make certain you go and watch this video. This video is all about turning $1,000 into $1 million. And I do several projections and I show earning 6%, 4%. What if you only made 3% a month? Uh, I show if you start with 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, how long it would take you to get to $1 million. Now, mind the, by the way, the thing that I like about selling options is because you're producing an income the entire time. It's not like you're just buying Bitcoin or you're just buying Ethereum and the only way to get money out of it is to sell it. No, when you're selling options, you're producing income every single time that you're selling options. There's a bit of a semi-passive income strategy created. Just to get an idea of how powerful this is, go back and watch this video right here. If I was holding Ethereum at $28.92, I'm still underwater by a lot. This is where selling options is interesting and unique because for the month of August, I'm doing really, really well. So let's take a look at what we're doing. This is my balances of September 1st, but I started August here and I ended up here. This is what we made. We made $701. That's $701 that could we could withdraw, we could compound, which is what we're doing. We could do whatever we want to with it. In spite of the fact that people who are holding Ethereum are still underwater by a good percentage. If you if you were holding Ethereum at the beginning of the month, it was sitting close to $2,900. Currently, Ethereum is only at $2,500. So the question is, how are we doing this? I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. We ended up at 3.5%. Uh, 3 it was not quite our 4%, but I'll take it. Because again, in this video, I actually show you earning 3%. I do a couple things in this video. I give you a projection. The most conservative projection is we only earn 3%. We don't add any funds at all to our account. Now, any of you that have been watching, you know that I actually do add funds to my account periodically. Here we are sitting at $20,680 because we made like $113 yesterday, as I showed you toward the end of this video. And I think we're going to finish up. I mean, if I had to guess, we're going to end up over... I think $21,000 at the end of the month. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. By the way, I'm not necessarily recommend that everybody go out and sell options. That's not what I'm saying, but I think everybody should familiarize themselves with this strategy. It is a very good strategy. And I believe that you should consider doing it with a small portion of your portfolio, but I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a very biased cryptocurrency YouTuber. I believe this technology is going to transform the freaking world. And I want to see people win. I want to see you win. I, th there are people out there that are like, oh, finance is an individual sport. Crypto is an individual sport. Yes, we're we're all individually responsible, but at the end of the day, I think the people who invest in crypto, even with mediocre skills, are going to potentially succeed because of long-term mass adoption. That's my personal, very biased opinion. Someone left a comment and they said, what if I only have $2,000? So if you only have $2,000, first of all, we're assuming that you mean you only have $2,000 available to invest in a risky new form of investment because it is risky when you're getting started for sure because you're still learning. If I was starting with only $2,000, I would come over here to options and I would make one. I would probably just start initially with just like one. Maybe I would come and people are like, do you sell calls? Do you sell puts? Go watch my entire playlist. There's a the, Go start with video number one because I end up giving up little tidbits along the way 
uh, teaching sort of what I'm doing. And in each video, I kind of, you know, I'll teach a little bit about Delta. I teach a little bit about my trades. I teach about my thought processes and why I make certain trades, which is why I record all of these just to sort of create sort of a, a verbal record, a stream of consciousness of my thoughts when I'm making the trades. Hopefully that my viewer, hoping that my viewers can benefit from that. But in this case, because the market's up about 3%, I would probably start out with selling a call. You just come here and look for something conservative. Look for something at five, six, seven delta. Uh, there's nothing at seven, but I wouldn't do this one. It's one dollar. Um, you could do the 10, but in this case, I really want something with a low delta. Delta, the lower the delta, the more likely it is to work out in your favor. So here's a six delta. Maybe I would do something like this. It's not quite 1% a week like I shoot for, but it's it's a start. It's a pretty, pretty safe position. Come over here. You got $2,000, buy one. You're going to have to use up $329 of your collateral, but that just means that it's going to be your margin held until this position expires. If the market doesn't go all the way up to $3,000, which there's a 94% chance that it will not. If it doesn't go up to $3,000 by September 13th, you're going to be able to keep all $5.90 minus whatever fee there is, the 74 cents or $1.23 or whatever. And it's not about, initially, it's not about being very profitable. It's just about making some, selling some options and watching them in your portfolio. So you sell one and then each day you come back. About every 24 hours, just check on it and watch it. And what you'll start to see in most cases, is it will slowly become more profitable. And what that means is like I've got 98.4% of the max profit when I sold these things. So I sold them at $15. They're currently worth 24 cents. I sold four of them. So I've got almost all the profit out of it. Once it hits the expiration date, then it will release my margin. I have margin that is right here. This margin is what is, is securing it, if you will. And someone says, what happens if it goes against you? If it goes against me a little bit, then I just lose a little bit of the margin. If it goes against me a ton, then I lose a lot of the margin. But it's got to go way below $2,000, even when we drop down 20%. If we drop 20% today, we don't go to $2,000. Do you understand what I'm saying? We go to $2,100. If it does, it's okay. It, initially, I would just focus on making some trades. Later on, I would learn to adjust the trades. Now, if you're trying to figure out, like, how do I learn that kind of stuff, one way to learn it, you can leave a comment. I'll try to answer your questions if I if I can, if it's possible. But another way to be able to learn it is to go, just go to my channel, uh, come here, and go to playlist right here. And when you get on the playlist, oh, 32 videos, just right here, journey to $1,000 per month. Just start watching this playlist, and you're going to learn over time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to make certain that I, of course, I'm doing keep my daily updates, but I am going to start doing another playlist where it's all of my monthly updates so we can track how this actually shakes out in reality. Of course, my projection is I should be able to do about 1% per week long term. By the way, big difference between these two months. This month, I was forced to take a loss. But I said then when I took that when I took that dip, I said it'd probably take me a month or two to get it back. Well, newsflash, the high was 20,822. We're already at 20,600. I'll probably make that back in uh, about six weeks. It won't even take two months, which again is another thing that I like about options. Even when you take a loss, normally you can get that loss back pretty quickly and recover. I'm telling you, people do not understand the power of the options market. So ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you. I'm not telling you to go do it. I'm encourage you to at least learn how. I will put a link in the description to the Derive platform. This is the crypto options platform that I use. It's primarily a decentralized platform. And Americans, they tell you not to use it if you're American, but I mean, you can use a VPN. It is decentralized. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.